Welcome to the StockMatter.com studios here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I'm your stock mentor, Brian Johnson, and I'm making professional trading simple. And what a day in uh, the markets today. Uh, story of the day is the uh, UUP. For those of you that uh, did not notice this today, <clears throat> most people did, but this had a heck of a run today. There was um, <laughs> uh, there was uh, some more shares that were offered out. I don't know the whole story. I, I I'm not clear on everything yet. Uh, but I think what happened is maybe somebody uh, had put in a very very or had put in a large order. They didn't have enough shares to cover the order, so they asked for more shares. When they did, uh, they halted trading and they did allow those shares to be added to the UUP. And when uh, it came back up for uh, sale, the person or the group or whoever bought all the shares, um, which I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe they were December calls. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with options, that means you think the market's going to go up in that particular stock. So uh, when they buy them, they buy them at what's called market, which means just whatever the current price is right now, just I'll just buy them up. So they did precisely that. And of course, that ran the market up really really hard uh, of course once that was all over with <clears throat> we saw the precipitous fall back to earth afterwards so this uh, big move up was something everybody was watching it was just an anomaly to see something like this you don't get to see it very often it's just str it's literally straight up check out how this the stock only moves a little bit at a time most candles this is a, every 60 minutes this is about all it ever moves you know these little tiny candles these huge candles came into play at one time it was way way up here so uh, quite a move on the UUP. It is tied to the dollar. However, it was interesting to note that the DX, which is the dollar index, um, did not move along with it. So it was basically just the UUP uh, that was making this ginormous move. Uh, the dollar was not following it. So that was of interest. Now I was so busy watching the UUP, I didn't even take, take a look at the dollar. And it was brought to my attention by a couple of my subscribers that, yeah, you know the dollar's not moving anywhere it's just a UUP thing and so it was very interesting though to watch and that's why the markets didn't crash the way they did uh, or, or th that's why the markets didn't crash so uh, very interesting to watch this play up here today uh, I've been talking actually about the UUP to my subscribers mentioning levels to them and giving them places to enter uh, trades on the UUP and had uh, one lady in particular, Sue, who's a new subscriber, that took my suggestion down here in the 2250 area and bought some calls or a call or something. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what her position size was, but it was some calls. And she sold them like way up here for like 150% profit today. So congratulations, Sue. I'm sure that more than pays for your whopping $15 a month subscription to the newsletter and I'm very happy I was able to uh, help you with that so a good job to you I, I don't know who else might have got cashed in on that as well but I'm sure she covered uh, uh, at least a couple months I would suspect I'm sure it was a lot more than that of my newsletter at $15 so <laughs> quite a good risk to reward ratio for you Sue congratulations on the trade so this was kind of the story of the day that everybody was watching uh, in the meantime the uh, the markets quietly move their way upwards. Uh, it did not feel like a 200-point day. That's big. That's a pretty big move. So we saw a very large move and kind of chop sideways, and at the very end of the day, kind of poke its head back up again to finish right here towards its highs above the 10,000 mark. So that'll give the news something to yak about tonight, how we've closed over the 10,000 mark. Recession's over. Everybody's happy, and we can all go back to living life, uh, and buying huge houses and... and uh, big cars and all kinds of stuff now that we're up over the 10,000 mark. So I'll give the news something to talk about. It was actually a pretty strong close for the Bulls. Good to see them get that over. It really struggled with 10,000 for quite a while for finally popping over it and closing above it. Tomorrow we got some econ data coming out, so you want to be very careful if you're holding anything. Um, uh, to, you just want to watch in the morning and see what happens before the markets uh, open. Uh, and see what kind of a move we get. Now, this is the move we've been waiting for, this bounce, this area up here. I was not sure at first on these first few days here whether or not it was going to stay here and move up or stay here and move down. I was kind of 
secretly hoping for a little move down here to 9600 but we didn't see it and that's okay we got close we got pretty close down here 78 points is whatever it's pretty close uh, now we're on our way back up this is what everybody's watching how far and how high that's what everybody wants to know so uh, you need to watch this very closely a break of these highs over here will send all of the Elioticians scrambling back to their scratch pads for a new count um, I'm sure it'll make a, a huge difference uh, if we break these highs up here. So you want to be watching very closely over the next few days, week or so, as to what this market action does. And you'll want to play it accordingly. So uh, be very careful moving forward. But uh, very interesting nonetheless of a day. NASDAQ up the same way, hanging out above the 60 or the 200 moving uh, period moving average on the 60-minute charts. Uh, if we move on to a daily for those of you that uh, uh, that follow Slope of Hope, I do have a new video done for the Slope of Hope. Um, he's got a lot of stuff in queue, and so I don't know if and when he'll he'll post it. But you can find it on YouTube if you're curious. Go to my YouTube site, and you can find my Slope post there if you want to get an early uh, uh, look at what I did. Uh, but I talked about the NASDAQ today and about a possible retest of this and, and what to look at there. So I'll skip past the NASDAQ. But notice that we have had a nice bounce right off of this line here. And real quick, shoulder, head, potentially right shoulder forming is a little bit obvious. I'm not sold on this thing yet. But there are other extenuating circumstances here that would lend itself to this being a valid formation at this point for me. So we'll be watching this going forward as well on the NASDAQ. NASDAQ on a weekly. Now we are through Thursday, and this area is holding nicely. However, in the grand scheme of things, we have maybe a little shoulder head and possibly shoulder forming as well on the weekly. So fractal on the daily of what the weekly is doing. So a very curious look here. Uh, keep this in mind moving forward. Now that we're done through Thursday, we only have one day left. Anything can happen. We'll look at this chart again at the end of tomorrow, but this gives us a pretty good idea of where we may uh, finish tomorrow. SPX on a 60-minute. You can see right back up here to resistance. Stopped right at resistance. Did manage to poke its head just above the 200 period moving average on the uh, 200 or on the 60 minute chart, sorry, similar to what the NASDAQ's doing. Same thing here, coming back up to retest the underside of this trend line along with the 20 period moving average with heavy resistance uh, uh, over and above that as well. So it's got some work to do to get up and over this area, but you know what? The bulls clear this area, and you could expect the bears to probably cover. So um, be watching this very closely, this whole muck and muck up here. A job numbers maybe has some sort of an effect on that in the morning. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. SPX on a weekly, same thing. We are at the end of Thursday, but we could be coming uh, back. And maybe now that we've broken out of this trend line, this rising wedge, maybe we're going to see a retest of the bottom side of that. Uh, a little too early to tell, but something to at least keep in the back of your mind moving forward. VIX on a daily, moving back down into the 20 and the 50. Uh, if you're an options trader, uh, this might be a good time to invest in some options as things start to get a little bit less expensive on the options side now. From a weekly standpoint, once again, one more day. We'll see if this holds, but it's right back down to the 20-week moving average. Apple on a 60s. 